Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jack, and today we are here with some more Skyblock episode number 15. And uh, in this episode, guys, uh, I'm going to be uh, building uh, something a little different. It's, instead of doing something uh, that's not really productive and uh, really doesn't have much of an effect, like my diving board and my glowstone stuff, even though they do add some nice cosmetic uh, improvements to my Skyblock land, uh, I, w I decided to do something that I've... Ooh, look at that place over there. That's actually a pretty nice place. It's cool. Anyway, so I decided I was going to do something that uh, is actually on the tutorial island that I haven't really gotten around to because I don't really see the need for it. But because I'm starting around out of ideas, a little bit and I'm still looking for some uh, ideas I got a couple uh, in the uh, not, if not the last episode maybe it was the episode before that I think I don't honestly remember which one it was but I got a couple ideas and um, one of them was to build a, uh, a snowman a, a snowman or not a snowman thing a uh, snow golem snow uh, generator thingy machine. So, uh, I'll show you guys at the tutorial island what I'm talking about in one second. It involves, uh, redstone and pistons and stuff, so hopefully I have enough money to get that kind of stuff from the shop or from kits and stuff. Uh, if not, then I don't really know how I will do it, but, uh, we'll deal with that if I have to get to it. Um, and let me just say, guys, if you are going to enjoy this incredible episode of Skyblock, let's go for 40 slobber legs. Make sure it's nice and slobbery. Otherwise, Otherwise, it does not count as much in my heart. Uh, and then if I have any extra time after building the snowman thingy, which uh, I'm actually going to build uh, over here behind the uh, jungle tree. I was originally going to do it, um, or I was originally going to put all my animals there. But I said I'm just going to put my animals right here on this grass pe uh, this grass uh, patch of, well, grass. And then I'm going to build the uh, the snowman thingy over here. So if I have any extra time, I'm going to do my, my animal stuff, uh, which I'll get from some kits. But without further ado, let's go over to to Tabata. To Tutorial Island. Um, actually, before I do that, let me give my uh, couple shout-outs to uh, the beautiful uh, people who use the code SWORO8, MitziXD, and Akopupo. Thank you very much. Uh, if you guys uh, do not know how to get on this wall, it's pretty simple. To get on the wall of donations and get uh, a lot of love from the one and only funny, so all I have to do is go on the uh, Warside Bycraft, use code SWORO8, get 10% off, and uh, yeah, and then you'll get on the wall. And then otherwise... Um, I had a couple people last episode who were uh, telling me they wanted to be on the subscriber wall. And uh, guys, if you want to be on the subscriber wall, you have to let me know your uh, in-game username. Otherwise, I don't really know what to put on there. So if you want to join these lovely people and you don't want to uh, donate to do it, uh, then just tell me in the comments what your uh, name and game is. And uh, we'll be good. Okay, so let me go over to Tutorial Island. I think it's Warp Tutorial. And then I will show you guys what I'm talking about here. So, uh, as you can see here, they have the, the cobblestone tutorial stuff. I think I've showed you guys this before. Um, but I'm actually going to be trying out the uh, the pumpkin iron golem thingamajig. So, as you can see, it requires some redstone, some random building blocks, some pistons, um, a pumpkin, and uh, a couple pieces of snow. Now, I don't exactly know how you get snow. I'm assuming you can get it at the, uh, the donator, uh, or not the donator shop, the... Um, just the normal shop. I mean, uh, and if I can't get it at the shop, maybe I have to get it through kit, but I'm assuming you can get it at the shop somewhere. Uh, I don't really know how else you'd get snow. And then a pumpkin I'd have to grow. Um, so I'm going to see if I can buy one. Hopefully I can. And then redstone I'll either get from a kit, and the piston I'll either get from a kit, or I'll have to buy them. So let me check my balance, actually. I think I bought a lot of glowstone last time, so if I have to, I will do some off-camera work to get myself that money. Uh, otherwise, let us go over to the shop, and I will see if they have stuff on sale. I need one pumpkin. And, okay, no, I, oh, please tell me I can actually buy it too. I might only be able to sell it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, my God, that might actually be the thing. I don't want to have to grow my pumpkin, no. Oh, man, I think that's actually what I'm going to have to do. Okay, so, can I not get redstone either? Oh, that sucks. I can only sell. I don't even have any uh, pumpkin farms. Crud. Okay, so, I can buy snowballs, but to get two full snow blocks, I'd have to get... 18 snowballs, so that'd be six thousand dollars. Or no, I mean nine thousand dollars. No, eight no sixteen eight thousand dollars. Okay. I was off by a little bit and how much do I have again? Um not eight thousand, I have seven point eight thousand. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna do some off-camera stuff to get myself some money, and then I'm gonna have to. Um, okay, I can buy these spawn eggs, so that's good to know for a later use when I make my uh, mob uh, farm thingy. So uh, I'm gonna have to do some off-camera work to get the snow, and then for the pumpkin, I'm gonna have to do some off-camera work to actually get the pumpkin done. And I don't want to make a pumpkin farm. Like that's lame. I mean, do I? I, I want to know. Can you do um, bone meal and get a pumpkin? I I'm honestly unsure about that. Uh, I might be able to. Let me go back to my thingy. Um, let me go back to my, uh, island. And, uh, okay, so, 
Uh, I have, I don't really have any more room for pumpkins though, that's the thing. I get one of my melon things, because I don't really need melons, so... Or I could, I could borrow some of the wheat space, because I don't really use wheat either, except... And actually, wheat I can use to, um, to breed animals, uh, or at least cows and sheep. So, I might actually just take up some of the melon farm, like half the melon farm, and use it for pumpkins. Uh, but I don't honestly know, do pumpkins grow, uh, like normal things? Because I know melons do the thing where it grows on the block next to it. But is it the same thing for pumpkins? Uh, that is my big question. Um, Alright, so let me grab a pumpkin. Do I need... I start... Okay, no, those are melon seeds. Okay, there's my pumpkin seeds. That's what I'm actually going to do. I'm going to grab um, some bones, and then I'm going to see if I can actually uh, insta-grow this. And if I can't insta-grow it, maybe I'll at least be able to get it up to uh, mostly grown. Uh, I'm really hoping I can I can actually plant this and insta-grow it. But I'm going to have to borrow some space here, melons. I'm sorry. Uh, I really don't need you anymore, you melons. Actually, I'm just going to plant it here. Let me plant that here, and then I'll... um, Because this is the only uh, melon I'm actually ever going to need. All right, I can grow it up. Okay, I can only grow it up to the, the max point before it uh, actually grows. Um, so that is unfortunate. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, stop the recording. I'm going to chill here, wait for this bad boy to grow, and then also I'll probably uh, get some money because I actually really need that. And as, I, as I've told you guys before, if you are wondering how I get my money, uh, donor kits uh, are things that give you money. Like if you donate, you get a certain amount of money. I think uh, like bronze gives you like 15000 and other things give you like thirty and $60,000. Um, but because I'm a YouTuber, I uh, don't get money. Uh, for being a YouTuber, like, like if, I, if I were to actually donate, I have the same perks as a donator, like I have the same access to kits, but I don't get the same amount of money because I'm a YouTuber and I never actually donated. So um, basically what I do is I give myself some stuff and then I sell it at the shop and I get some free money. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. Uh, you said you were okay with it before, so I hope you, hopefully you guys are okay with it now. So when I come back, guys, I will have a pumpkin and I will have a little bit more money. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, and so I have learned that apparently it does grow like melons. I probably should have assumed that it would do that. So uh, it destroyed the uh, little piece next to here and uh, planted that pumpkin right there. Um, and it's actually only been like 20 minutes. So it was, it was pretty nice. Uh, I just want to have Kalis with some music chilled. And when I came back, this was uh, bestowed upon me um, offline I or off camera. I I mean, uh, I also did a little bit of material uh, giving, and <laughs> I was going to say gathering, but material giving, and then I got myself some sweet moolah, and I think I have like 20k now? Yeah, okay, so I have 20,615, so that is enough so that I can um, buy some snow, and then I can also, uh, with this pumpkin, I will uh, rule the world. And by that, I mean I will use this and make a, uh, a snow generator thingy. And I'm still unsure of what snow actually does. But I'm assuming it's something important, so I'll just go with it. So, anyway, uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the shop, warp shop, and I will grab, uh, let's say I need 18 pieces of snow to make two snow blocks. So let's do buy, put this in here so I don't actually throw it. And let's say so I have one, and I need 18 total, so level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, I have 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, okay, I didn't actually throw them. Okay, good. Uh, I was making sure that didn't happen because that would have been bad. Let me check my balance. And I have 11,000, so that's still enough for me to get some uh, some spawnings later. Or I could just do uh, a kit, but I'll probably just do the spawning things here. And, uh, yeah, you know, I was looking at the, the prices over here, guys, when I was selling some pumpkins. Apparently, and when I say selling pumpkins, I mean when I was doing uh, the thing to get myself some sweet moolah. Um... And what's funny about that, guys, is that um, I realized that I probably should have bigger farms. It would probably benefit me a lot more. But, I mean, because I can do the thingy where I get myself the sweet moolah, because I should have that anyway. If I were actually a donator, I would have a lot of money. But, you know what? If you guys think that's a little cheap, uh, please let me know and I will uh, stop selling my stuff. And I will uh, make huge farms that will take like an hour to make and then... Yeah, so just just let me know and I will cater to your wishes. So anyway, we have enough for our snow blocks, and now what I'm gonna do is uh, actually I need some redstone. Where, where do I get redstone? Do I, do I have to get it from a kit? Do uh, you don't start with redstone, do you? I don't think you do. I mean, obviously you have to get redstone from somewhere, um, but I don't honestly know where you get it from. So let me go check out at the uh, warp donor. Uh, okay, I guess it's warp donation. Warp donator. Warp, okay, warp donate. Okay, I always get that warp messed up. I always do, or I always add some extra letters to it. So, ELA kits. Oh, okay, apparently those haven't been implemented yet. Uh, all right, let me check for some redstone. Okay, I have a redstone block. I don't think I can convert that to redstone. 
Uh, but I could be wrong. Oh, 16 redstone. Oh, I think I already do have redstone. Okay, what I need to do is I need to find some, um, some, whatchamacallit, some pistons now. I don't honestly know how you make pistons. I think pistons are really complicated, so... Oh, okay, I must have some redstone back in the place then. Let me check my island. Okay, apparently I have some in my chest that I didn't even realize. That's, that's a dumb move on my part. Uh, one redstone! Really? That's all the redstone I have? Uh, okay, I must have thrown the other redstone off. I got this redstone from a witch, uh, so I guess I'll do, um... Let me go back to Warp Donate, and I'll see which one has, uh, the most redstone. Uh, I don't want to do that one that's a little OP, and I only need a few pieces of redstone. So, how about I do... Which one is it? Okay, this one, I guess? I guess I'll do, um... Slash Kit Platinum. Beautiful. Okay, I have a golden apple. I'll just put this stuff in my chest. I don't really need it. So let me now. Let me go. Let me go back to my island now, and um, I also need to get some pistons. I don't honestly know how you craft them. I kind of have a vague memory of how to craft them, but there's a chance I'll have to cut uh, to when I actually know because I don't honestly remember, and I don't have like not enough items on here or anything. So, yeah, I might. I just might have to. Um, I'm gonna put that away and put this stuff away. I don't need this stuff. And what do I need again? I need a piston. Okay, piston. How do I make a piston? I think I have cobblestone wood. And then maybe a couple pieces of iron, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, I don't honestly remember. Okay. What about, well, you know what, guys? I'm just going to cut to when I actually know how to make it because I don't honestly remember. And I have never will remember, probably, because it's a really complicated uh, crafting recipe. So when I get back, guys, I will uh, be able to craft some pistons and then we'll make our snowman generator. So uh, I will see you in one second. All right, guys, I am back and I am here with the uh, piston uh, crafting recipe. And then also I had to... It, it, I know this is kind of pathetic, guys, but I did have to look up the lever thing because I need a lever for this uh, snow machine thingy too. And uh, I honestly didn't remember exactly. I didn't know if I needed uh, cobblestone or if I needed smooth stone. So yeah, d don't judge me, please. So um, anyway, guys, I need... Actually, the, this one redstone is actually nice because I need um, it for uh, the pistons. Uh, actually, I need two pistons. So okay, it would have it would have been cooler if I only needed one piston and the, this one right piece of redstone was enough for it. But Whatever, it's it's all good in the hood. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to make the piston, and you can do that with three pieces of wood on top. Actually, yeah, okay, hold on. I'm gonna make some wood from these things because I don't really like these things, and I'm gonna make uh, I'll make one more thing of this. Okay, so I'm gonna put two layers here, and I'm gonna put um, uh, two things of cobblestone like this, and then oh, I need uh, pieces of iron. Okay, I need to make sure I don't lose these things when I get out of the crafting recipe. I need two pieces of iron, and I have seven of them. That is wonderful. I think I have those from kits, and, uh, yeah, I think that's all I can get them from, so, yeah, cool. Uh, and then I will put the iron, like, here. The redstone goes right here. Cobblestone, of course, goes right here. And then, boom, like that. And I have two pistons. Beautiful. And then I put my one stick here and my one piece of cobblestone here, and, oh, there we go. Okay, now I have the lever, and now, what, what should I use for the, uh, the parts where I put the redstone on? I guess I could just use cobblestone. It doesn't really matter, honestly. Um, but I kind of want to do something smoother, something cleaner. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it smooth stone. Cause why not? Or actually, anything else I have that I can use? Um, yeah, not really. I could use white wool. Uh, I might just use white wool. I mean, there's no, there's not really a point in not using the white wool. I, I, mean, I haven't used the white wool for anything yet this entire series. So, why not use it for this? So. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it over here by the uh, the tree Okay, I'm gonna get around you without having to swim through the pool because that would be boring And I'm actually probably gonna have to go back and forth a couple times to figure out how to build this exactly And at the rate of time we're going here I probably won't be able to get to the, the animal thing, but that'll only take like a minute or two So um, actually it'll probably only take like like 17 seconds So uh, I'll probably just now yeah, maybe I'll maybe even do that off camera Maybe I'll just do it for like the, the last floor of an episode if I have nothing else to do so uh, it's not really important. It's more for the uh, the, uh, the cosmetic part of it. So let me go back to warp tutorial, and I will see exactly how I uh, how I build this. Okay, so I, I don't think I need the the pieces of stained glass here. Now, if I'm wrong, then I might really screw this up, and I'll have to uh, get everything back again. But I don't think the glass is supposed to be there in the actual product. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place. Two pieces of stone here, and I'm gonna face, or and I'm gonna put the redstone on it, and then I'm gonna place a a piston thingy uh, facing that way. Here, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that first, and okay, make sure I remember this. Two pieces of thingies here, and then I have the piston. All right, let me go back to my island. Hopefully, I remember as much of that as possible. Uh, it's like this is like a memory game. This is like some kind of uh, this is some brain teaser crap. So I'm gonna place some cobblestone down here, 
And I think this will be enough room for it. I'm really hoping it will be. Otherwise, I'll have to expand out more this way, and that won't look all even. And if you guys know me well, actually, you don't even need to know me. If you guys already know, I love things being all even and, uh, like, proportional and symmetrical. I, I just love every etrical thing. Proportional, etrical, every old things. Every Everything old. So I'm going to put, uh, I'll put it, like, right here, I guess. Uh, I guess this is far enough away. I'm going to put my two pieces of wool here. And I'm going to put a piston like so. And then I'm going to put some redstone on here on that bad boy. Very beautiful. And then I think I actually need to put my uh, my snow here. I need to go craft these snowballs into some actual snow blocks. Um, it actually makes me really think about if I actually did everything legitimately, uh, the, the money. Like if I actually did a, like 7 billion hours of off-camera work to build huge farms and stuff, uh, this would be a very, uh, very tedious thing. So, I'm actually very happy that I have access to the, uh, the donator perks, so. Uh, anyway, oh, I'm not, I'm not looking for stuff. I'm gonna put some, uh, some snowballs in here to make some snowball, or some snow blocks. Uh, is that not how you make a snow block? Um, wait a minute. How do you make a snow block, then? I'm sorry. Wait, is it only four? Oh my god. It's only four. Oh my god. All right, I have some extra snowballs here. I didn't need to give myself that much money apparently. Whatever. I mean, it's it's not an awful thing, but I mean, I mean, I feel kind of stupid now. <laughs> I honestly thought it was 3 by 3 Don't you guys think it'd be 3 by 3 Like, uh, most things are. Like, if you want to make a coal block, it's 3 by 3 Oh, whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but, ah, oh, god, that annoys me. All right, so I don't want to put the pumpkin on yet because I think that will make the, the golem. Actually, I think I'm supposed to put the glass there so that it stays in there. But I could be wrong. I, don't, I really don't want to mess this up. But I feel like if I make this, it'll automatically uh, remove it. So I think I need to replace some kind of glass there. But I don't, ha I don't have any glass, right? Okay, I'm going to cook up some sand while I wait. I'm going to cook up some sand. And it's not going to be uh, stained glass or anything. Uh, but hopefully it'll be enough. All right, so I'm going to put four in here. And I'm going to smelt this sand bad boy up. And I think I need to get some more uh, jungle wood here. And if you're wondering why I'm not using my oak wood, it's because I actually like my oak wood. And I, if I ever need it for design purposes, I don't want to have to waste it on uh, stuff like this. So, yeah, that, that's why I'm doing that. Um, and so I'll, I'll, I won't finish everything off until I get the glass. But I'm going to actually go back to the uh, warp tutorial. And I'm going to figure out exactly what else I missed. Hopefully this is the last time I have to go back here. Uh, I don't think I'll have to go back anymore. But, uh, okay, so I need to put... Uh, three on top of it going uh, in the opposite direction and then one right next to the uh, the who you call it the uh, the second piece of snow all right I think I can remember that hopefully I can otherwise I will have to go back here and I'll probably feel like an idiot um, but I'm just kidding I'll feel like an idiot regardless uh, so now I have to put a piece on here and then a piece there and I should probably... No, I don't really want to build this out one. It doesn't really matter. I, I should have enough space here. Um, hopefully. Um, and then while that glass is cooking, I will put uh, some pieces of redstone right here and here. And then I'll put my other piece of um, piston right here. I have to face it this way somehow. So let me put a uh, piece of wool right here. And then I will put this here. If you guys are wondering why I did that, it's so that I can get the angle so that I can actually face it in that direction. And, no, oh, I don't want to lose this piece of wool, but I might have to. And, oh, I picked it up. That was a very clutch save right there uh, by f the one and only Funny Swirl. And uh, now I need to go pick up my glass, and then I'll put the uh, the pumpkin head on. And uh, since I'm almost out of time, it'll be uh, perfect. I can test it out, and uh, things will uh, be really good. All right, I'm actually, that's actually pretty good. I, this actually worked out better than I thought. It was gonna, I thought it was going to take... Uh, like 10 turns back and forth going back to the uh, tutorial island, but as long as I did this right, uh, it will not. So do that, put them right here, and uh, oh, I need to put the lever down here. And uh, so, how, how does this work exactly? Do I do I do I put the pumpkin on and then push the lever, or how do I do it? I think I put the pumpkin on and then push the lever, but I could be wrong. Let me try this. Uh, okay, so I made that guy, and how does this work? Whoa! Wait a minute. Oh! Oh, I understand now. Okay, it all makes sense, actually. So basically what happens, if I'm understanding this correctly, is uh, the guy puts a piece of snow down there. So obviously wherever the snow golem is, um, it'll drop down some snow uh, on the ground beneath it. So apparently what this does is uh, he has some snow there. And then, of course, wherever he walks, there'll be snow. So at the same time, these uh, both the pistons push him up here. And that is an, uh, that's a place that I can actually reach and pick up with a shovel. So do I have a shovel on hand? I don't think I do. I'll, I'll go make one, and I'll show you guys that I can uh, make snow. And I don't think I can sell this snow, unfortunately. So I don't think... Um, 
I can uh, sell it back on the marketplace for a bunch of money. Because if I could do that, then I'd be rolling in the green. I'd be I'd be a rich uh, swirl. I'd be one rich guy. So, unfortunately, I don't think I can do that. So that kind of sucks. I'm going to put this stuff away, actually, uh, before I forget to put that away. Put that away. And I'll go back here. And I will show you guys the magic, uh, magic, the magical magic of the uh, snow golem thingamajig. All right. And boom. Oh, oh, it's, oh, it all, it always does it. Oh, that's perfect. I thought I had to flip the thing back and forth, but that actually is very nifty. Um, whoever thought of this, it's not amazingly difficult to, um, figure out, but, I mean, to actually think of it is, uh, pretty cool. So, uh, actually, can I just, I can just spam it. Oh, that is really neat, actually. I, I'm really digging that. So, anyway, guys, uh, I have a bunch of snowballs here. Let me get an even number of four stacks here. Uh, okay, six more, or how many more do I need? Okay, I need, okay, three more. One two three and i have four beautiful stacks of snow and i again i don't really know where i'll need to use this maybe if i need to knock someone off the edge or if i need to get into some kind of big pvp fight and i need to knock them off the edge whatever i have a bunch of snowballs now uh, so i feel pretty good about myself so um anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy let us go for 40 slobbery likes and uh, let me know guys what you want me to uh do yeah uh, for the you know Whatever episodes I'm still doing of this series, please let me know what you want me to do. I'm still open to uh, a lot of uh, suggestions and such. And um, if you guys want to be on the donator wall, all you have to do is go on the Warside Bycraft. Use the code SWORL8, get 10% off. And uh, join MitziXD and Akopupu and, uh, on the wall of donations to get a little shout-out at the beginning of every... every uh, blah. At the beginning of every episode, get a little shout-out from the one and only funny Roll. So that's pretty nifty. And then, of course, if you want to be on the subscribe wall only and you want to have to donate, then just uh, let me know in the comments down below that you want to be on it with your IGN, and I will add you guys in when I have some free time. So thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I will see you later. Bye!